to draw a five-pointed star without uh, in one line, one line, no? And all Pythagoras was teaching, no? The Pentagon, no? The Pentagon and the relation in between this and this, no? You studied this, the golden mean, huh? The golden proportion, they name it with, uh, with P, no? But anyway, what all these philosophers were teaching behind the star and behind all these things, the main thing, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, reality, the reality we see is this, no? They call it dunya, no? No? And you, you read the, the myth of the cave, Plato's myth of the cave, you studied it, no? The prisoner, he was looking outside, no? Looking to the world and he was, but he started looking uh, to the inside, no? So, that is a mystery we're looking outside. We think reality is there, but we have to turn inside, and reality is here. To make a drawing, reality is here. Behind there, no? when you, you architect this thing, is the main thing you, you, you draw a thing, compass. You take a compass to draw a circumference, a circle, no? To draw the circumference, you have to place the compass in a point, the needle. Huh? The pencil will draw the, 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 the circle, but you place the, the, the needle in a very invisible, narrow point. No? This narrow point is creating, from the emptiness, is creating the circumference. No? So the reality, real reality, is in the, in the little hole of the needle. And to get into reality, you have to get inside the, ho the hole. How do you get inside of the hole? This is this, this uh, thing, is, can a camel go through an, at the eye of a needle? Yes. When the camel disappears, you can get inside of the needle. No, so the task to get inside there, you have to become nothing. No? To get inside that circle, but this is another PhD. To be nothing. But this is another lecture. So we go on. This is another work I made with the same pattern. I'm fascinated with that pattern because there are eight-pointed stars, there's a square, there are five-pointed stars, six-pointed, it's everything in this pattern. No? So I made a lot of, with this pattern, I made a lot of things. Yeah. That is our house, Al Alia, she built it. In nature, this is where we are living in the countryside in Spain. We go on. And this is again. It was a house in ruins, and we built it again. No, we rebuilt it. Eh? This was the door, the, the, and the ancient door in the house, and we gave the honor to have it at, at, at a table. We eat every day <laughs> on top of the old thing. No, we give big honor to old things, you know, because, yeah. And everything is al alive, no? So, how throw into the fire that the beautiful work door in oak? So, you go on. This is now what I'm cutting. This is now, you, you can see it out there, no? This, we call it the uh, Don du Lion on uh, Francais. Uh, lion the tooth, dandelion, no? which is a plant we have a lot in our garden, and uh, I gave the honor because this plant, one of the things to have it in an um, herbal infusion is for cleaning, no? And it's a plant which is cleaning completely. You've seen it, you have it in Egypt? It's the one thing you blow, and all these things go blowing, yeah? dandelion, no? My, also one of my uh, things is to make very subtle things like this in very heavy material, no? So I made this, and you will see this dandelion. This is the drawing, no? All the statements of the dandelion, the leaves. They call it dandelion because the leaves, they look like uh, lion teeth. And this is the flower coming, the flower open, the opening of the things you blow. These are the blowing things. And this is the, when after blowing, it is like this, no? So go on. This is big, this is one meter 50 in coated iron. So you can see from a drawing, you can cut it. Now, we have this technology, this is cutted with, um, with laser ray and with water jet, no? The ones outside are cutted with water jet, which is uh, 200 atmosphere, a 
water can cut stone now, can cut all these things. Huh? You go on. This is the, this uh, place outside in our garden. You can see the, this is a miracle also, this, the plants coming out, the dandelion growing behind, you know, so after copying, you know. One said that nature is copying us. This is another one which is outside here also. This is like this spiny plant. You go on. This is a tree, the tree of knowledge. This is also coated with uh, water jet. You go on. This is the same big tree with no people behind, uh, underneath. You go on. This is in architecture now what I'm doing for uh, placing these decorations for buildings. You can go on. Yes. This was a commission of a client. I made this for, uh, for the client. More, another one. Another one. You see how thick, go, go, go back, you can see how thick this is, no? This is uh, steel, coarsened steel. You, know? you go on. This is the last thing there, like a garden with pumpkins and the dragonfly and lizards and so on. This is in our garden also. We, I made commissions for buildings. I, what do I make? This is uh, three meters. From here to there is three meters. You can sit on top of it, and um, it's also like an honor to a thing like a leaf, which is blowing and to be nothing. To give the honor, to give importance, to be aware of, you know? because the only thing we have is to be aware. He said we have to be aware. We have five senses to be aware. No, we have taste, we have uh, glance, we have smelling, we have taste, we have listening, and we have touching. No? The Greeks, the very Pythagoras school, what they were teaching, really teaching to their pupils, also to get behind this point and to be completely aware. And they said it's a very difficult, simple, but very difficult technique to be aware, you try it, to be aware of the five senses at the same time. Try it. No? To be tasting, watching, listening, um, feeling, all at the same time. If you can be aware of the five at the same time, you enter in another dimension, completely. And to be like that all the time, all the, as much as you can, is a very powerful way of being in this world. You know? To be aware of the five senses all the whole time. You know? This is another PhD. I, I said, why, why, why is this here? No, I said, this, this is our, our, our guest house. Do you remember, Sir Ahmed? No, be, I, I, I now I, I realize that it is because of this. No, I made this veranda, but Alhamdulillah, I didn't see it because the the thing is, you don't see it. It's mixed, it's melted in the um, with the wood. No, so you go on. There's another view of the veranda. Another view, you see, this is our house. We live in the woods here, in the forest. And uh, I try to make art also for the people who are living here. When they listen to the birds, and they see the birds here, they come aware of at least two senses at the same time. No? They, because the birds, usually you listen to them, but you don't see them. You beep, 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 and then you see it. And then you can touch it, and then one of the... Of the, of the because I, I love to go in the sea because it's the only, it's like being in the space, no? You are floating in the water, no? No gravity, you are floating, and there's a lot of stars. And there are a lot of collection of stars, little stars, big stars, uh, so it was like being in heaven, no? Very cheap, no? Uh, to take a, uh, this shuttle to go to Mars or Venus, uh, that's impossible, very expensive. You get uh, glasses and a snorkel, not even, no, you don't need the bottles, the uh, air bottles, and you are already in another world. No? Alhamdulillah, you, you are very, uh, you're very lucky you have uh, Red Sea, Sharm Sheikh, down there with beautiful sea landscapes. No? <laughs> you go on. Well, this is a metaphysical, metaphysical uh, uh, sculpture, no? For me, it was very important. It's been always very important. Art is a way to getting to my Lord, no? So this is, uh, this is a sculpture, very important for me, not trespassing a door, 
and then the climbing the stairway to heaven. It's another thing of uh, Led Zeppelin, I think, in my young star, stairways to heaven. Yeah, I was, when I was a young one, I was listening to the Beatles, and um, as we still listen. It's myself in our garden also. This I, I made a collection of obelisks, that is some, some with water coming out, and this is... Uh, here I'm mixing uh, Egypt, uh, Eg Egyptian art and Islamic art all together. Instead of hieroglyphics, I am putting like this. And also for me, very important, this is because uh, this is like a lizard skin, but it's a galaxy in a lizard skin, all these joining things, you know. This is our garden. I'm also very, I love very much spirals. I made a lot of spirals everywhere. I, if you have a magnifying glass, you can look in your, in your, um, in your uh, fingerprints, you will see spirals. I have a beautiful spiral in my, in my footprint. Everywhere you have spirals. You look in your tongue. I saw a beautiful picture of a microscope of the point of a hair, no? And the point, point, point of a hair in the microscope is a spiral. No? So spirals is everywhere, no? And a spiral growth everywhere, the nails, the spiral, all the things. And it's related also, a spiral is related to, to golden mean, you know, no? You studied, no? The main spiral, this, well, spiral is here, absolutely creation coming like this. And you have all, all, also, you have that, that big spiral like this, which is now the, the golden mean between this, between this and this between this and this and this and you, you studied for sure in architecture and we go on here again this is said to be a muslim talisman it's a way of representing yin yang you know yin yang so uh, we are in duality we are breathing and uh, inspiring exhaling and our heart is uh, contracting and well, there's two names of Allah for this, Al-Kabit, Al-Basit, Al-Kabit, Al-Basit, working all day inside of us, no? So this is dedicated to this, and, and, and the four, this is a way, this is a um, traditional, old traditional way of representing the four elements, water, fire, earth, and um, air, no? So, this is, geometric, um, it can be a dome or it can be a well. No? For me, it's also, this is very important, no? which is the thing in duality, no? that you can go up in the same thing or concave, convex, you say. Yeah? Okay. But it's completely flat. No? Yes, this is also same, yeah? spiral, moving, yes. Another, the same pattern as the door, another pattern. I made a lot of investigation of this, not yet in calligraphy, but uh, in geometry I went a lot. And, uh, yeah, you can go on, different patterns. These four patterns, they are, com they, they are in a very, um, I took them from a synagogue in Toledo. Toledo in Spain is a very important city because it's a, uh, uh, for example, it is in the synagogue, the synagogue, Jewish synagogue is built by Muslim craftsmen in a Christian city, no? So the three things together, no? And I gave the honor to recover because they are, if you go to the synagogue, you can even, you cannot see them. Santa Maria La Blanca in, in Toledo, no? Go on. And, well, you, for, maybe for you, this is boring because uh, you have a lot of this here, no? So you have a lot. This is very important in Islam. This is, uh, because it's, uh, it's, a, a, it's a way of representing the kutub. No? The kutub should be invisible in the middle, and this is the eighth abdal of the kutub, which uh, is represented by, uh, by a, a, a cross a spiral. They call it the cross gamat cross, no? which uh, this Hitler stole it for his symbol, but it was before. No? You can see it in Crete, in India, everywhere. Another pattern, another pattern. Very important, this is a box. I made this box, no? This box is dedicated to golden mean. All the measurements, this 